Hey guys, it's me Dave from the Kodo back with another tutorial for you and behind you, behind me, you can see the Ender IO inventory panel. Uh, now this is going to be very similar to uh, the crafting panel of an AE system, but a little bit cheaper to make, a little bit cheaper to run, and when you're playing the Feed the Beast Infinity Expert mode uh, mod pack, <clears throat> it's easy to get into uh, very very relatively quickly in the early game and cheaper like I said than AE so you can see here the crafting grid has the ability to craft and once I'm looking here you'll see that it's just inside of a, a chest next to it so how do we get this thing set up so there's gonna be a couple of things you're gonna need to work on uh, right away now the in, the inventory panel does not run off of electricity. It runs off of this nutrient distillation, uh, is what it's called. <clears throat> and to make this, what you're going to need to build is a vat. Uh, that could take a little bit of time, but once you get that going, the vat is used a lot in Infinity Expert mode. Uh, then you're going to start to use any of these in these combinations here either the the heads and mushrooms whatever you're gonna use this combination obviously uh, it'll show you which ones are better to get the nutrient distillation you're mixing water with these three these two things to make nutrient distillation and obviously electricity once you have that you're gonna create a fluid tank now this is the ender IO one you can use uh, any other tank that's available in the in the mod pack this one's relatively simple to make and cheap. And you're going to fill this up with nutrient distillation. You're going to use uh, fluid conduit. I used the pressurized fluid conduit uh, personally, but you can use uh, any any kind of conduit, any fluid conduit that you want. Uh, and we're going to connect from the bottom of the tank all the way over and connect into the back of the inventory panel. Now we need to change the settings to this fluid conduit so that it's active without a signal. And you can see, or if you want to put a redstone signal onto that, that'll work too. I always just turn it off. Uh, it's going to start to pump that in and it's going to fill the nutrient tank on <coughs> the inventory panel. And I can still see that this shows offline. What we need to do now is connect up some inventories. So using item conduits which can be a little bit expensive especially if you're playing the uh, the expert mode uh, but still not impossible to get you're gonna connect from the back of the panel to the inventory you're looking at and then just show you it's still nothing there on the part that's connected to the inventory the chest uh, there's a section here for these remote awareness upgrades. You need to make these, and these are eh, kind of expensive. You're going to put that in there, and you're going to change the mode to in and out. That means that it, you can take out of that chest as well as put into that chest. So when we come over here, you'll see that this panel is actually turned on now because there's, there's chests available to it. It sees them, and you can see here that it has the pulsing iron block. So I should be able to set that there put anything in the return area and it's not going back so we need to make a change here and just change this to active without a signal you don't really need that there but I put that there because I had extra ones and you can see now that it's it's gonna start to push those back to this inventory that's hooked up so we'll grab more item conduit and you can see there's red stone ally blocks here and energetic alloy blocks there I'm gonna connect these in just the same way change this to active without a signal in and out put in my awareness check oh I got the redstone alloy and the last one in and out oops I, don't, I guess you don't have to change the active without a signal when it's in and out that's that's fine and you can see that we have all of them now so you can't now what you can't do is you can't take this and put it back in here. This isn't going to go anywhere. It has to go back into the return area. If you're working in here and you just want to clear this, boom, it clears all, the whole area down into there. And it puts them back in there. Now, this is going to give you access to all of these inventories, a crafting grid, and it doesn't use electricity. So it's, it's uh, 
cheaper to run, like I said, than the AE systems, and it gives you similar capabilities. Messing around with logistics tubes and whatnot, you can get uh, remote crafting or remote requesting, that kind of thing. We'll go into that in another tutorial. But for the main setup, you have a whole ton of chests set up that your core is pumping into. And you have an easy crafting grid that gives you access to everything right there. Uh, relatively simple, relatively early game, and cheap to maintain because you only need this nutrient dissolution. You don't need uh, electricity. Now, further on, you can make bigger setups where you can have access to uh, the storage drawer containers, which I will go into in another tutorial. But uh, you can build upon this this small system very easily and make it a little bit more convenient for you to manage your inventory. Hopefully this was helpful to you. If you need some more explanation on some certain things, put it in the comments section below. And like always, guys, good luck and have fun.